I feel like this ride will start out full of adrenaline and then once this show's over, it is just going to be a slog to get back to El Dorado. Man, is this thing safe to even stand on? What's up, legends? Welcome back to the channel. We are in El Dorado. <laughs> I can't. I can't. El Dorado. It's about an hour from Bright, but it's a totally different landscape. I really want to check out the downhill trail in Beechworth. So the plan is get dropped off in Beechworth, ride the downhill trail, and then make my way down to El Dorado. It'll probably be part downhill, part gravel grind. Hopefully we can find some moto trails along the way to ride as well. So it'll be a mixture of all those different disciplines. Should be an adventure. Hopefully I don't break a pedal. Let's get to Beechworth. Oh, Beechworth was a very cool town. So we just left the town centre and from here, we're going to head towards the wool shed downhill trail. Should be an adventure. I think it'll be about 30K ride all up. Hopefully mostly downhill. <laughs> we'll see. And this is what I really want to avoid. Riding along main roads like this, for me is the scariest thing on my mountain bike. terrified of riding on the road you're just like you're putting too much trust into other people and yeah it just freaks me out eh? we're actually at the top of woolshed dh this is no joke but i've wanted to ride this trail for probably five years i'm finally here this trail is no secret it's all over trail fork strava everything else there's videos on it i don't feel like i'm doing anything i shouldn't be doing on this one i am really excited to hit this trail i feel like this ride will start out full of adrenaline and then once this trail's over it is just going to be a slog to get back to el dorado that's all about the adventure eh? so let's get into it all right woolshed dh I really, honestly, have no idea what to expect. Oh, oh, oh. All right, hold on. I don't even know if I went the right way. Damn, there's two ways. I just have a bit of a sus down here because it looks like it could be a cliff or something. It's a massive slab. Not really sure where to go though. This rock is massive. Couldn't really see much of a line down this massive rock. So maybe it's just a bit of a detour for this sick lookout. All right, let's throw left. Oh my God, is that rollable? Oh, just, oh shit. All right, oh my God, what is that? That's fucking, looks pretty cooked that jump. Oh shit, man. Mine's taking a bit of a wrong turn here. Oh man, these features definitely need a little bit of love. This thing's safe to even stand on. There's some full cowboy shit out here. I think the old trust the trail saying doesn't really apply here. Oh, it's sandy. Oh, what do we got? Yes. <laughs> Oi. Oh. Whoa. That's just the vibe. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Whoa, very sick. Oh, mate. It's like derby. It's a little bit more all mountain than I expected. Hey, mate. Right. Am I going the right way? Ah, uh, no. This is the up track. Oh, righto. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, mate. All right. I am such a kook. I was riding down a climbing trail. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was a sketchy drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, very sick. Oh, shit. 
some pretty gnarly rock drops. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh my God, what is that? Is this sussing this feature out because it just looks sketchy as when you're coming up and say, well, just a blind drop, but she's definitely rollable. All right, let's do this ladder bridge roll. Oh yes. Oh shit, it is steep. Oh. oh, another one. Yes. Oh. Caution cars. This one, I think. Oh, shit. Oh. Yes. Sick. Oh, mate. You'd have to be hoping for that one. Oh, very cool. Oh, oh shit. Oh, so many lines there. <laughs> Those little jumps are so fun. Oh shit. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Is it easy? Yeah. Don't you? Just pull up. Right, eh? Yeah. Push you to the side a bit. Come on, Frof Oh, sick. How are you going? Good, yeah, good. It's pretty fun, eh? Yeah. Like them or what? Nah, you boys? Yeah. Sick. Is there any big gaps coming up? Yeah, there's a big one just here. How big? It's a 30 foot. Oh, did he just hit it? Did you hit it? I'm going to come have a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Eh? Is this a jump? Oh yeah, you just got to clear that stump, eh? He definitely don't want to hit that. I'll video you boys hitting it if you want. Put it on YouTube. Nice! Oh, oh shit! Oh, I thought you were going to hit that stump, bro. I'm going to get it. Yo, yes, dude! Whoa, that was sick. What's your YouTube? Prof. F-R-O-F-F. -F. Subscribe. Cheers, bro. I'll follow you down the rest of the track. I'll try anyway. Yes! <laughs> A bit sick. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah, that was sick, thanks for that. Is that Woolshed Road there? It'd be a dirt road, she just held it on the road. Oh, I swear, I'm Jaren anyway. Oh, Oscar. Oscar, nice to you. Oliver, nice to you. Ruben, nice to meet ya. See you later. Those kids were like shredders, eh? So they've told me to come down Feeders Road and that should turn on to Woolshed Road. There's a sick waterfall down here too, so we might go check that out while we're here. And we're just entering Chilton Mount Pilot National Park. It feels so natural to be outdoors. No car, just on my own, meeting rad people and just exploring. All right, let's keep heading down this road. access. I haven't seen a sign that says no mountain bike, so... Oh, yep, there it is. Bedgeworth is there, and we still have to go all the way here to the town with the sickest name, El Dorado. And I think from here, the grind is really going to begin. I also had no reception out here, so my maps aren't really working properly. But Reedy Creek pretty much goes into El Dorado. Reedy Creek showing up on my map, so if I can follow that, that'll uh, definitely 
be taking us in the right direction. When I'm going downhill like this, I always get that feeling like, damn, I hope I'm going the right way because I do not want to have to pedal back up this hill. So we've just finished McFeeters Road. Now we're on Woolshed Road. This road pretty much goes all the way into El Dorado. Like I said earlier, I'm hoping there's some moto trails so we can spice it up a little and it's not just gravel grinding the whole way back to El Dorado. Um, yeah, but so far it is beautiful out here. There's all these information boards scattered along. Some of the stories are pretty gnarly, eh? Like this one, Dan Kelly, so I'm guessing that's Ned Kelly's brother, shooting their friend in a hut that wasn't far from here because they thought he was a police informant. It's so crazy to think all that crazy stuff was happening right here only 150 years ago. There's barely any cars coming down here either, which um, makes this road pretty enjoyable to pedal along. We're 16 k's in, just ticking along nicely. I had no reception in El Dorado either. I just received a voice message from my dad. Off grid dog. Oof, oof. Oh, daddy. <laughs> I feel like this has almost turned into an educational channel. This is crazy. Sebastopol Flat, I'm guessing it was over there, it was actually full on town where the Cali Gang used to hide out. Here it says there was 83 businesses, 23 restaurants, and at least eight hotels. It's so crazy. So in the distance over there is the Kelly Cave. And I'm guessing that highest peak up there is the Kelly Lookout. And the Kelly Lookout is where the Ned Kelly Gang would keep an eye on the coppers in Beechworth. And the Kelly Caves are where the Kelly Gang would hide out and get supplies taken to them from all the helpers and stuff in town. Oh, another sick story for you gold heads. So in May 1856, a bush ranger named Buttery put a log across this road here, hid behind that big rock there, and robbed a stagecoach. He was caught not long after, and he hid the gold in Woolshed Valley. The gold could be around here somewhere. God, that's so beautiful. Any luck? Oh, beautiful. We've well, got to turn it on a specific angle. There's like little flecks of gold. Oh, that's so sick. Yes, yeah, sweet. See you later. All right, we've just crossed Reedy's Creek and yeah, it's been a sick little adventure so far. It's very peaceful, but also a little bit eerie at the same time because there's just so much like- Sort of dark history around here. It's, it sort of gets into your subconscious and it's really hard not to think about. I reckon from here, we should be able to find some moto trails that'll hopefully take us back into El Dorado. There's heaps of free camping all the way along Reedy Creek. Some of the spots look pretty sweet. We've opted for the caravan park because we're a bit precious. <laughs> Oh, I just met Kinta. He's showing me some oh, local trails back to El Dorado. Oh my God. Oh shit. Oh. That was way steeper than I expected. Are you gonna send the rope swing for us? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah sick. It's where the dredge dug out all the gold. We've made it to El Dorado. Another shredder, Kinta, showed me some little trails to get back to town and yeah, so sick. Yeah, we've done 36 Ks and I'm toast. Thanks heaps for watching Legends. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. I was calling out to the caravan and no one was replying. <laughs>